What's going on everyone and welcome to the Stock Trends channel. So in today we have SOS Limited to talk about, ticker symbol SOS. This is a really interesting stock to mention right now because we have a fresh Hindenburg short report which in this current climate is somewhat dangerous in my eyes to put out a short report and to go short that stock given the short squeeze we've seen with AMC GME and some other stocks. However, there are some important points that I wanna talk about and then there are some things we gotta talk about diving a little bit deeper to clear up some of what Hindenburg is saying. Now, ultimately, we're gonna dive into their report and this, by the way, SOS Limited was, if we pull up Hindenburg right here, formerly China Rapid Finance. And so they think that SOS is a $0 stock and has a significant regulatory risk. That is what Hindenburg is saying right now. So we're going to dive through some of this thread really quick. But for those who are not aware, SOS came up as a stock that in this crypto kind of kind of hype or as Bitcoin's been pushing up, they started to drop some PRs about their cryptocurrency mining. And so in that sense, this is a stock that was fairly cheap and a lot of traders took this one up as a crypto play. Now, personally, as someone who does trade these small cap companies and these small cap stocks, we're here for the volatility. We're trying to get in as low as we can and looking to sell as high as we can, or at least capture a chunk of the move. That's the name of the game. So their latest news right here is that they have, they announced their first batch of 5,000 pieces of crypto mining rigs going live, $86 million offering. They have the exercise of warrants for 96.7 million in gross proceeds. And we start diving a little bit deeper. Okay, this starts to make some sense. Okay, we have a cryptocurrency mining company related. Okay, kind of making some sense. Taking a look at the chart here for SOS. We talked about in a prior video, it made its run. And to be honest with you guys, as we've seen Bitcoin pushing up and as we've seen this short report, it's not something I would recommend at this point. Maybe it's a short squeeze candidate. Maybe it's here for a bounce or something. Maybe we get some confirmation from the company at some point to clear things up, to clear the air. And we're gonna dive into why I don't know if that's gonna to be the case here in just a second but right now we're holding up just below five bucks so five dollars didn't really hold up as support so we'll see what happens now to the downside at the 50 sma sitting here at about 375 or so so it comes up to about four bucks as the stock comes down so four dollars could be an area to watch as support going forward here with sos now some things to note when you pull up the SOS site, you'll pull up this right here from Weeble. This is China Rapid Finance, which turned SOS. The site isn't great, but if you were to look up SOS Limited website, if you were to just pull their site up and go there, uh, actually right now, at least when I'm filming this video, I'd recommend you try to do this. You actually can't. Um, it's not uh, allowing me to open the site, and for whatever reason, we just can't open it. So that could be some, something's up, something's fishy here. I'll tell you that right now. Something is, is fishy, something doesn't smell right, and this is starting to remind me a lot like this movie right here. Now, of course, this is just a movie. This does not mean anything, uh, but just take out the grain of salt. The China Hustle. I would highly, highly, highly recommend if you are someone who's new to trading, you look into trading, you know, Chinese stocks, penny stocks, small caps, things like that. Watch this right now. It's on Hulu. The China Hustle really kind of peels back the layers and peels back the curtain to what's been going on or what had been going on in past years with the kind of the boom in a lot of Chinese companies that uplisted right to the US markets. And so we have the ability to trade these companies and these stocks ran up massively and SOS is an example of one that's running up massively right now, but there was a lot of fraud. There was a lot of BS going on behind the scenes. These companies weren't real. They were faking numbers. They were faking employees. They were actually operating, you know, much less capacity than they were saying they were doing. So a lot of that stuff was brought up in that. And the point is that, hey, these companies operate in China. It's not as easy, right, for regulations here in the U.S. to be applied. Now, a couple of weeks or months ago, Trump signed something to, that was threatening to delist Chinese companies who wouldn't comply with some S. SEC requirements or some standards here in the US. And that I think those companies have like two to three years or so to actually comply. So it's not a super high risk as of right now, but it's certainly something to watch out for. 
and it's trying to eliminate things like we saw in the China hustle, a lot of those companies. Now, let's dive into SOS. So we start to dive through the Hindenburg thread here on Twitter, and I'd recommend you do your own due diligence yourself and look through what you would like to look through here um, yourself, obviously, and dive deeper into this yourself. So they're talking about SOS office and headquarters that doesn't appear to actually exist. They say they visited the address on the company's SEC filings and found it was a hotel. They said that there are no companies here. However, right, we start diving a little bit deeper and from some due diligence that I did myself on this, there actually are two buildings apparently with the same address, something kind of weird. I don't know, right? Obviously we're here in the US. I have no idea how this stuff works in China. I have really no idea. But there's apparently two buildings, and there's apparently the building, the headquarters of SOS right next to the hotel is what I'm seeing now here online. So that is one thing that they're kind of uncovering from Hindenburg, that they're calling some some red flags up and saying, hey, you guys didn't do your, your proper due diligence. Now, I don't know if that's actually accurate, because again, we're not there. If you, unless you're going to the place, unless you're going to the headquarters and doing your own research, right? Who, who is to say, right? It, it comes to a picture that somebody took and what somebody else is saying. Now, going on through, they talk about they had this announcement of a renowned cryptocurrency security expert um, right here, and they appear to include fabrications to this guy's background, which, I mean, this is the type of stuff, I'm telling you guys, this is the type of stuff from the China hustle. This is literally what it is. Um, we keep scrolling down through. They talk about how this site right here, right? They claim Yan was the founder of this e-secure chain technology site. Meanwhile, they go and say, hey, this site was only created a couple days prior to SOS announcing he joined the team. So something fishy there on that one for sure. Uh, and they continue to keep scrolling down. They talk about a couple other things. And this comes up, a legit Chinese cryptocurrency mining company, RHY. And so this company comes up and there were apparently were, if you do some reverse image searches on some of the images that we have here um, on the FXK, a deal that they made, those pictures are coming from RHY, and they even uh, actually direct message um, RHY and say that they're copied. These images are copied. They're actually their images, and those are not th the actual images from the site that was posting them. So you start to see that there's a lot of red flags being thrown up between some of these deals that SOS has announced, some of the people that they are working with, and then of course, obviously, the headquarters. We don't even know if, if the headquarters is an accurate building. We, we don't know. And it actually is really interesting. So the, the images that you'll see, if we keep scrolling down, I think it's really crazy. So they show this in their PR. But the images that we're starting to see of SOS headquarters and of this hotel, they're not actually like that. So from their visit, here are some of the images that they are taking, at least Hindenburg. Now, um, again, we don't have much on this other than their kind of word for it as of right now. But we start to dive a little bit deeper and people are pointing out that, hey, this is this is the actual um, image that, that you want to point out. This is the hotel on the right hand side. And then this is apparently the SOS office building. Now, here's the thing. I still think this is somewhat fishy because there are people who are saying nice try, shorty, whatever you want to say to Hindenburg. Okay, that's great, right? But look at these buildings, okay? See this building right here? See this building right here on the right? The hotel versus the actual, apparently, the headquarters of SOS. Well, then what's up with this on their press release? This is not the same building. I mean, if this is SOS headquarters, that's not the same building that that image we just looked at. Not the same. So this is really fishy to me. And personally, after all that I have seen here, this is just my take, my approach. I'm staying far away. There's, there's no need. I actually traded S. I didn't trade SOS, but I remember I was talking about it um, as a great play back in here as it started to get some attention and started to push up. And it made its run. It, 15, almost 16 bucks. I mean, to me, that's made quite a bit of a run. Now, here's the thing. If SOS comes out, and the company can actually come out and say, hey, here are some clarifications. Here is why this report is inaccurate. Well, that changes things a lot. Here's your current downtrend line for SOS. If they can't, or if right the website's down, I think we're still down as we're speaking right now. I literally, yeah, the site can't be reached. Can't even get in. So it, it just we'll be paying attention to that, obviously. But if, if that stays the case right here with SOS, I would be very, very skeptical. And I would be kind of the China hustle is kind of like that red flag kind of, you know, indicator in my eyes. This is like, 
China Hustle, literally exactly what happened in that documentary. I mean, I think we're seeing it happen potentially again here um, with SOS. So I'd be careful. I'd be very, very careful with SOS. It is coming down to a much better risk reward area. However, it seems like this could run down a lot further if SOS stays silent and we continue to see some sell-offs in the overall market. However, think about this. Wall Street bets, if you think about Reddit, if you think about the short squeeze aspect here, we dive into SOS right here. We don't actually have accurate numbers on the float and the percentage of the float that is short, at least on Finviz. But be careful because if people start to say, hey, we like this stock and they don't see any red flags or they're they're picking out some some mis, misprints, I guess, or some misinformation that Hindenburg has thrown out as things get further uncovered, well, then this could be a very, very big time short squeeze candidate. And in that sense, could this stock make a run back to $10? Yes, if it gets absolutely crazy. Or if we see some crazy volume. Yeah, I would definitely, if I had to make a bet personally, right? Number one, I wouldn't be in, I'm not making a bet because I don't want to risk my money here. Because again, I, I, I would have to say if I had to make a bet, it would be to the downside. But at the same time, I'm not making that bet given the current circumstance and the kind of uh, market that we're in, right? With these short squeezes and with, it doesn't matter fundamentals, right? If, if people decide they like a stock, the stock can run. And with the communities that we have online, it doesn't really matter. So that's at least my take here on SOS. I would love to hear what you guys think in the comment section down below what you have uncovered personally. For those who don't know much about SOS personally, I mean, there's a lot of other opportunities out there, I think that are much, much better than this one, at least as of right now. But if you do believe in this one and you believe that Hindenburg has pulled up some false information and you still like the play for a cryptocurrency play as Bitcoin pushes back to the upside, if it does, well, then SOS could certainly be a great idea or a potentially a great play for you. With that said, make sure you guys are jumping down, subscribing to the channel, hitting that thumbs up button. The platform we're using here is Weeble. You can get two free stocks when you sign up and deposit hundred bucks with the link in the pinned comment and description box and down below. And also real quick, make sure you guys are jumping down in the description box and subscribing and heading on over to my main channel. We talk a lot about stocks here, penny stocks. We talk strategy. We talk how to find stocks to trade. That is what we have going on on the main channel. Link in the description box down below. Thank you guys so much and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.